Hello, good morning, good afternoon, uh, everyone. I welcome all of you to this uh, public training which we conduct on Alternate Tuesday. Uh, my name is Deeraj from Anvis Technical Team, and uh, I welcome all of you for this training. I appreciate your time for uh, you know for learning new things, new ideas, new solutions from the Anvis side. So we have just uh, you know started this initiative because like we want our partners our people to aware about uh, what exactly we are doing and how exactly we are doing in the market so this training is specially designed to you know a very important although it's a very small concept or small uh, point but it's a very important feature that uh, generally customers ask in the trend you know at the time of installation or in the requirements so i would like to convey you this topic because there are a number of requirements that we, we 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 got from multiple customers like they are looking for anti passback system in any devices so i thought like you know uh, i thought let's cover it in, into the training so that all of you can uh, get aware about what exactly is anti passback although you might be aware about the thing but i would like to refresh it so what is anti pass back then how exactly we can use it in anvis system how it is used in a normal market or with other brands we will discuss all those points in this training so let's start let's start with the thing i hope uh, uh, sufficient people are there in the training so we can start with the things so <clears throat> today we are going to discuss one important topic uh, it's anti pass back system in anvis devices so what is anti pass back anti pass back is a normal feature or it's a uh, it's a feature which generally customers ask where they want to control the flow of employees or the direction of passage or uh, uh, through the door basically where they want to define like uh, the scenario or they want to restrict the employees for uh, you know uh, passing through the gates without punching their cards or their, their credentials so in that case like uh, anti pass back system will be helpful for the customers to restrict the employees or to control the employees for their uh for their attendance and access control purpose so in today's training we are going to discuss few brief on the anvis like what exactly the anvis is how exactly we are doing in the market what exactly the, the solution that we provide to the market then we'll discuss on a main topic like about an anti pass bag then the compatible models that uh, anvis is having from our side which can support to anti pass bag then we will see like how exactly we can configure the anti pass back feature on anvis devices and we'll cover few of the question answers so let's start with the things so about anvis we are a global leader in the smart security industry we are in the market since 2001 and we are doing really great with innovative solutions in the biometrics in the video surveillance with intelligent smart home and i can say a smart building solutions we are having a team across the globe who are working day and night for making anvis better and better with the solutions and we are promoting our applications like iot that can be a cloud based technology like we are we have already launched of the application on a cloud based applications we are we are going to launch some of the applications that will support to the mobile phones and everything so we are working on innovative products we are improving our products and solutions as per the customer requirements so that we can fulfill the customer requirements with 100% uh, you know satisfaction so for that like we are having our a uh, global R&D center at china shanghai we are having global operation center at uh, center even in, in china we are having our office in california us office that is based at california and the whole manufacturing works uh, that is going that that is happening at uh, the manufacturing base which is expanded across 50000 square meters and which is having a capacity the manufacturing capacity is more than 2 million units per year so that is a huge base that we are having where we manufacture devices designing happens at uh, the uh, r&d center so it's everything is hap happening at china and the team is working from other countries as well like us team is there and they are working with us again apart from that like what are the solutions and products that we are having in under anvis brand anvis umbrella like we are focusing on the commercial commercial security products and solutions and uh, which is divided basically into two categories one is access control and time attendance management solution and another one is smart surveillance management solution so we cover both the segments which are helpful for uh, the security and the safety purpose 
where we are connected with 2000 plus global partners who like who are working with us 200000 plus installations uh, that we have done so through our partners through direct projects that can be that can include uh, large large scale projects that can include small medium projects as well and apart from that there are 3000 300000 people 300000 customers who are connected with us who are using our a solution on ground basically so if i talk about the successful cases or success stories from anuis i can i can give you the list of thousand thousand successful customers who are already using our solution uh, and they are very happy with the solution with the product quality with the solution that we have provided with the software application features and everything but few of the things uh, few of the successful cases that i would like to proudly present here the one is the mexico government live nation jetpin project which is implemented for access control purpose and which is specially given for uh, controlling the access of 100,000 staff and which is expanded, which is installed across 1,000 plus sites. The second one is where we have covered top 20 universities, which where we have provided a cloud-based time attendance solution. And it is implemented for uh, 150,000 plus students and faculties where we are controlling their attendance uh, through our solution, basically. Uh, apart from that, we are having major customers in corporates and other things like where we are providing the total security solution for uh, corporate offices, where we are controlling the access of 50,000 staff across uh, 30 plus global branches. So these are the few successful case, uh, cases, I can say, successful case studies. For more case studies, you can visit to www.anvis.com and you can get all the case studies which we have uploaded over there. Apart from that, like uh, if you want to get some idea about uh, multiple documents and information about the company and all, you can just visit to www.nv.com or you can go to the community page as well so that you can just create your community login. You can just uh, get access to multiple things. We'll discuss on the things uh, in the same presentation. But coming back to the main topic of today's training is yeah, anti pass back and uh, that you know which are the models from Anvis, those those are compatible those are supporting anti pass feature so what is anti pass back system is anti pass back is a feature that can be used to prevent users from passing through uh, you know a particular door using their own credentials and uh, they need to be uh, they, they need to use the same credentials while entering as well as while exit so to control the flow of people to uh, you know make them make them make the access control uh, system streamline like we we can restrict the people to uh, use their credentials for uh, entry as well as for exit so some people it may happen like gate pass systems are ha having like you know they, they use uh, uh, their credentials at the entry but they don't they don't use the credentials while exit and they again try to get the access from the credentials so to restrict that, we can use anti password feature, uh, which is available with, with RV devices. And the users need to use their credentials for entry, for every entry, I can say. <clears throat> so if they're using for first entry, they need to use the same as credentials for the exit purpose as well. If they are not using it for exit purpose, their entry will be blocked for the next entry, I can say. Okay, sorry for the interruption again. Like, you know, there are some network issues, so I was there. So, I hope, like, you, you understood the mechanism of anti password system, that anti password feature that we are having. Now, let's move ahead for the further things, like, where uh, we can get uh, the things here, like how we can use the anti password structure in Anvil devices. So, Anvil anti password system requires two devices at least, because any anti password system, you need to install two devices to control the anti password to implement the anti password feature over there. So in Anvis, like uh, you need to install two devices, either that can be of the same model number, or you can use two different devices of different models, right? You know, where the anti password feature is available, you can use two different models as well. 
So for the connection of uh, two devices using for antipas the feature, you need to use the RS four eight five connection, and then uh, you know you can uh, you can use one device as anti device and another device as exit like device. So this is a simple structure that you can see in front of you, uh, where you can use two devices, one for entry, one for exit, and then you can make a connection through RS four eight five so that you can use it for anti pass the feature. Now, what are the models which are supporting to anti pass the feature? Yes, so because uh, there are a number of models available with Anvis, like you know, we can support to uh, number of features and uh, based on various, the features varies for the devices, for the models. So there are only few models which support to the anti pass feature. The one is VF30 Pro, second one is W2 Pro, then C2 Pro is also available for time maintenance and access control purpose where you can use anti pass feature. A350 or A350C, this is one of the good model again, which can support to anti back and M7. So these are the only six, uh, five devices, five models, which are available for anti back feature. So in this case, like in these models, you can connect RS485 communication, and you can configure the uh, devices with the anti back feature, and then they can use, like users can use the models with their, uh, credentials that can be a car that can be fingerprint that can be keypad so they can use it for uh, the anti password feature again now how we can configure the anti password feature with the annual devices so let's have a look on that as well like you know this will give you the connections or i can say how we can connect the devices how we can configure the devices two devices and we, how we can use two devices for that password feature so after configuration you you can use you know uh, the power supply door relay like you know apart from the accessory like you can connect the device to the power supply you can connect the door relay like em lock and board lock and other things you can connect the exit button and then door sensor and other features you can connect then apart from that you can connect the two devices using rx485 so uh, these devices what are the models that i have shown you those devices will support to RS-485 communication. So you can just configure the connection. You can connect, you can do the connections of RS-485 pins. And uh, then, you know, uh, once you connect the, uh, once you connect the RS-485 connection, then you need to go for a further configuration. Now, what are the further configuration? Uh, to use the devices for anti-pass back feature, you need to set the devices more as well, like, you know, if I'm using two devices, one for entry, one for exit, then what you need to define one device as a master device and another device as a you know, slave device. So uh, for that, you can either access the device on a web browser or you can go into the, uh, you know, into the device features, go into the advanced options in the application, then online app is there. And then in online app menu, you can get the remote verify feature where you can configure it. So to configure the things, one device you need to set as a, you know the master device and another you need to set as a, uh, the slave device so the master device will uh, will be set as server rs485 if you can see the option available here the remote mode should be server rs485 then the remote function should be anti pass back and the status should be in now if i talk about the slave reader you can Again, select, uh, you can just access the slave reader and you can configure it as uh, remote mode as a client RS485. And then anti pass back and the status should be out. So in that case, you can just configure it client and server uh, modes of the devices. And then you can start using the devices for the anti pass back feature. So this is as simple as, you know, you can configure it in very few minutes and then you just do the RS485 communication between two devices and you can use it. Now there can be some questions like, you know, you might be asking like, I can use the anti back for multiple devices on the same same room, or if there are multiple entrance doors, then how can can use the devices for anti back feature? So before that, let's have a look on the connections, like how we can connect the devices, how we can do the connections, and then uh, you know, how we can use the anti back then, uh, then we'll discuss about further questions. So let's have a look on the video, which I have, uh, I have prepared for you so that you can see multiple things on a video. So that will be easier for you to understand the things. So in this, like I have connected VF30 Pro and W2 Pro, where I have used VF30 Pro as an NT device, W2 Pro as an exit device, and I have connected both the devices uh, through RS485 communication. So let's have a look on it.
Awesome. So this is how exactly you can configure two devices with the RS-45 uh, connection and you can use it for the anti-password feature. So you can, you you might have got the idea like how you get it works. Like, you know, I, I need to pass on through a particular sequence like entry, then exit, entry, then exit. I cannot bypass any of the entry. So, you know, I, I, will, I will not get the access to the subsequent device, which I'm using it for the uh, access control purpose. So this feature will uh, streamline the access control, uh, you know, feature uh, uh, basically, uh, which we are going to, which we are implementing at the customer side. So they, they, that will control the public which are passing through the multiple devices without using their credentials. They, they have to use their credentials or they cannot pass on their credentials to other, other people. So that will stick all those scenarios here. So apart from that, like what can be like, you know, how we can use it for, uh, you know, uh, for the multiple things, like there are some questions. Let's, let's have a discussion on the questions in, in time. So uh, the first one is, can I show, can you show us the connection diagram for the devices with the door lock? Uh, Oman, like Omar, sorry, yeah, you can just visit to our website and then you can get, you can just go to the trend, uh, support then go to the download. You can download the quick installation guides from there where you can get all these diagrams and connection diagrams for the wires and cables uh, with the door locks and other accessories as well. Okay, so uh, the question is, the question is, can I can I create an uh, anti-passback system with more than two devices? Okay, now if I talk about the anti-passback, there are two scenarios where we can implement the anti-passback. Like first one is a local anti-passback, and then second one is a global anti-passback, which is which are which can be my terminologies, but you know, like there can be other terminologies for that. But as for my understanding, we can use anti-passwords for the local uh, uh, premises or we can use it for multiple doors at a time. So if I talk about this, uh, let's say this is a hall where we have multiple devices or multiple doors, basically door one, door two, door three, and door four is also there. So here there are, uh, you know, there are two options we can use anti passwords like we can implement that too, like anti passback on a single door or anti passback on a single premises. So uh, as I have mentioned here, a hall with the two entries, uh, the doors, like the two entry doors as well. You know, the user can access through any of these two entry doors and then leave the uh, leave from any of the two exit doors. So, you know, this is what actually the feature of global anti-passback. So we are working on the global anti-passback feature. Like we, as of now, we are having a local anti-passback. We can configure two devices on a single door and then single door can be can be controlled, can be used with the anti password feature. So here, let's say if I talk about the door one, so if I'm taking an entry from door one, I need to exit from the door one, then only I will again get an entry from you know, door one. So this is a local anti password. If your customers are asking for the anti password, let's say uh, your customer asks, like I want to take an entry from door one, and then if I miss any uh, exit, like I'm exiting from door two, but I'm, I'm not using my credentials. I just uh, went through the door because door was opened by somebody else. So I just went out from the door two without using my credentials. And if I try to do the entry from door three, then it will allow me the entry because this is a local entry passback which is restricted on a door one. So if I try to make an entry from door one, it will restrict me. But if I try to make an entry from door three, then it will allow me to enter into the premises. So I hope this is clear, right? You know, we are using a local anti passback feature in NV devices. We don't have the global anti passback. And for that, we are working like uh, for that uh, particular, for meeting that requirement, we need to work on a controller based solution. So we are having a controller based solution, which we are uh, working with the anti passback feature as well. Okay, I hope uh, Omar, you you are clear with the the answer, right? I have already answered the thing. Can our NV devices be compatible with the other controllers for the market? Yes, so you can use the NV devices with other controllers on on a weekend, right? You know, you can use the weekend communication 
with the with the ANV uh, devices basically. So you can communicate ANV devices with any third party controller. Okay, so questions and answers, like I already discussed few of the questions, like some of the people are already using the answer, asking the questions, like there is one more question. Uh, okay, God's will. Uh, so it's a, it's a must for devices to have antipas uh, to have RS485. Yes, so the uh, devices need to communicate on RS485 and that uh, all the models that I have shown you, are coming with the RS485 communication with other communication modes. So you can use Wi-Fi, you can use Ethernet as well for communicating from device to the system. But for the communication, for the internal communication for antibus feature, you need to con you need to connect the devices on RS485 communication. Okay, so for any any further doubts, any queries which are not covered in this uh, training, you can raise your questions on our uh, uh, on our community page, or you can raise your on our tickets. Uh, just visit to anv.com, go to the support, and there is option to raise the ticket. So you can raise your ticket so that the anv technical team will answer your questions and queries or doubts in in a in a, in a detailed manner. So. Uh, for more questions, more queries, you can just visit to the community. A few more questions are there. Okay, I hope Omar, you can raise your uh, raise this question to the community, or you can raise this question to uh, you know what uh, like on uh, the tickets. So if I talk about support from Anvis, like uh, uh, warranty support is there, where you can uh, get three years warranty. That is a standard warranty that we give to our customers. Apart from that, if you register your project. With us, you get a special offers on the costing. You, you can get like commercials and all. You can get special offers on support and everything. So register your projects with us so that you can get the uh, prompt support from our side for implementation and for commissioning of the project. So for that, just drop an email or info at the return com. And for more details on warranty and support and the documents and everything, you can just go to the www.anv.com or you can just log into our community. Let me post the community link as well here so that you can, uh, okay, here you go. So you can just go to the community. You can just, uh, I've already posted uh, today's training topic over there. You can just submit your feedback over there. You can raise your questions related to this training topic on the same community link so that we, uh, the technical team can answer to the, uh, to the questions raised by you. Uh, so for that, you just have to log into the community page. Let me drop you the community link in the chat box. Just give me a second. Okay, here is the link for the community for today's training. You can just uh, log into the community and just submit your feedback. You can, I will upload the video, the recorded video for this training. I will upload the presentation on the same link. So you can download it from there itself. Apart from that, uh, uh, Godwill, your question, you can raise your questions in the, uh, in the ticket or you can just communicate with your sales representative from Manvis regarding the warranty and other things. So I hope that is clear from my side. Uh, any more questions? Uh, you can just raise your questions to the, uh, the Q&A box related to this topic for other questions and queries. Uh, you can just submit your queries on, on, the, on the community portal or on, uh, just give me a second, on a ticket exactly. So here you go. You can just log into the community and then you can get access to the multiple documents. You can get access to the uh, you know new features. The, those are coming to the 
to the market then then uh, there are some technical discussions going on on a community where you can get how you get the devices or the features work you can get all the access to the community so i hope this feature is clear this is very simple but a very important feature that generally customers ask so uh, let's work together so we can provide the more and more good solution to the customers and then we can uh, you know we can try to fulfill all the customer requests from our side so thank you so much everyone i really appreciate your time your patience the questions that you ask so uh, it really helped me to uh, you know to convey all the important features to the market uh, i really thanks to everyone for taking participation into the training so uh, if any questions you can just follow us on uh, you know on a youtube where we have uh, we are having a support channel on the youtube you can just go and you can see the training videos you can just uh, have a look on the other videos uh, which are related to the ami solution which we have uploaded on our own uh, you know youtube channel so you can get access to that as well so thanks a lot thanks for your time if you need uh, any doubts any questions you can get in touch with anvis technical support team so we can help you out over there thank you so much